Good morning everybody, and this is the DAX setups for today. So, um, yeah, that uh, kind of half-hanging man that we spoke about yesterday, I'm not saying it's going to play out, but we did drift lower. Uh, we'll need to look at what structure is here, but I think the closest bit of structure is obviously this zone at 17.620. Nothing really on the moving averages, nothing really on the oscillators at the moment. We have crossed over and pointing down, but uh, you're going to find when you get to the lower time frames that it's going to have a, a different picture. So at three hour, you can see it's indicating the move is pretty much almost done, and you're looking for structure here. Now, obviously, there was something of interest at 17.680. Uh, all the way down to 17.640. So let's say 17.650. There was some interest. You can see with these three tails here uh, last week. Nothing really that we can read into what we're seeing now. It does look like a bit of a flag forming, but uh, I think you you want to be down in the lower time frames just to look for structure. Right. So let's get some structure in. So the first bit of structure which uh, was holding until the close and this morning is this area here and that is at 17.715 so round that up to 17.700 look at my oscillators group to the downside uh, could still be a little bit of a squirt down to come and test this um, this area of support here at 17.619 very possible but uh, I think for now I'd be a little bit cautious so looking at the 15 minute, very volatile, big down, big up, above and below the moving averages all over the place. So um, I'm looking at, just want to fine tune these levels, because this is definitely the first area, and then there's a very second area that I want to be very, very aware of. Sorry, it's going to be there. Um, and you can see we attempted to come down to it we, here. We've got a nice pin bar. So, um, you know, a break of 17.726 and a retest of that really sets up the structure for the upside. Uh, this 17.713, or let's just round that off to 17.700, is also going to be pretty important for a break to the upside. Uh, obviously, we're looking for some form of support, and there is potentially supports here i'll give them to you now okay so this pin bar here is very much in play because this bar came past it right so that is 17651 uh, 17660 uh, 17, and the big zone of support is 17630 uh, 17620 so between 17630 and 17620 as a massive area of support and if you look at this on the hour you're going to see that is a fairly strong zone of support that we have here you can see this area here found support here and this area here found resistance in the same space so um, that's the area that i'd actually be looking at as well for some scalps but you're going to have to be very very aware because I suspect what's going to happen is you're going to find support, squirt up, reject levels higher up, back down, and you're going to be looking for a higher low before really committing to a bigger move to the upside. So that's kind of my view on the one side of it. If that doesn't happen, which is a possibility, in other words, we just range and then break up, find support on 17689 then I suspect you're going to target uh, the 17720 area, reject, build a base, and then if you break through that, that's going to be your signal for longs, and to be quite honest, you're probably going to be targeting just below the all-time high at 17790, 17800. That's kind of the view at the moment. I definitely don't want to be short, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, we want to go with the trend. The bigger trend is up. And uh, cash market would have closed in this area here, 17,720 area. 
So there's a massive gap down at the moment. And this is just based on noise out of China right now. So yeah, so wait for the open and uh, I'd definitely be paying very close attention to 17720, 17726 area. Get a back above that, uh, watch the moving averages on the 15 minutes. You should see a break. It should break the trend of uh, downward trend here of Monday and then you are targeting 17792. Okay, anyway, that's kind of my view for the day. I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.